Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Me. Today I'm going to show you how to install and set up Sonic 1 decompilation for UWP on Xbox dev mode. Alright, so the first things you will need is you will need your Xbox to be in dev mode. You can check out the link down below if you want to watch a video for that. Once you have dev mode installed and activated, what you're also going to need is this Sonic 1 decomp UWP APPX bundle. You can find this file within the Xbox dev store. I will also have this link down below. And you can also find this within the Revive Community Discord, where you can get tons of support questions, help with anything that you're having trouble on, or also just discussing apps that could be ported to UWP. This is a brand new dev store created by Moon Power. It's completely updated, and it has all the latest versions of everything for UWP within this. And big shout out to everyone else who's also been contributing and helping out set up this dev store with Moon. And all we're going to do is look for Sonic the Hedgehog 1 right here this does require you to own your own copy of sonic the hedgehog 1 it can either be from ios android or even the pc version i will not be showing you how to extract to get the file but i will be showing you where you would have to place your game file for this app to work correctly i bet so all you got to do is click on download and then the sonic uwp file will be downloaded and should be inside your downloads folder i bet so once we have the sonic 1 decomp uwp and you also have the data.rsdk file from your copy of sonic 1 all we got to do is go into the dev portal for Xbox, install our Sonic 1 decomp file, and then I'm going to show you how to place your data.rsdk. Now I'm going to show you the remote access at the bottom, so simply click on remote access settings. And what we're going to do is enable the Xbox dev portal. What this will do is this is where we will install our apps. We would have to do this from the computer or your phone. Make sure to keep a screenshot of this because anytime you want to enter the access portal on your computer, you're going to have to use either one or two links, whichever one works for you. And then at the bottom, there's an authentication where you can set a password and username. Me personally, I just keep this unchecked. It's just a little easier to get onto the page without having to enter your information every time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave our Xbox on this page. I bet. So what we're going to do is switch over to the PC. We're going to enter in one of the links for the access portal. And then there's some settings we're going to change from there and then you should be good to go. All right, now that we're on the computer, what we're gonna do is enter in one of those links. And yes, please add the HTTPS within it. And then once you enter in the link, you should get a page that says your connection is not private. Attackers might attempt to steal your information. Simply at the bottom, click on advanced and proceed. All right, bet once we're at the Xbox device portal, all you gotta do is underneath my games and apps, click on add. And all we're gonna do is simply drag and drop that Sonic 1 decomp UWP file right into it. Click on next. There's no dependencies needed for this, so just click on start. Once it says package successfully registered, simply click on OK. And then now we're going to do is add our data file. So all you got to do is head over to the file explorer on the left side. Go into the local app data. And then what we're going to do is look for Sonic the Hedgehog 1 right here. And at the moment, there is no folders inside because what we got to do is open up the app on Xbox. So what I want you to do is simply open up the app. It's going to crash, but then it's going to create the internal folders for it. So do that real quick. And then once you do that, all you can do is simply refresh the page. And then now you can see the folders are now here. Simply go into the local state. Now all we got to do is simply upload our data RSDK file right into here. So click on choose file. Make sure to look for your data.rsdk file and simply click on open. And then now you can click upload right next to it. And that's pretty much it. Now you just completely set up and installed Sonic the Hedgehog 1 decomp for Xbox UWP. If you guys have any problems, please don't ever hesitate to let me know down below. And if this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that like, hit that follow for more videos, and let me know down below that you got this working. And as always, I hope you all have a great day.